I've decided not to add any metal to the periphery of uh, this little gear. Um, instead, I'm going to cut the teeth uh, into the uh, the outer land there. And the reason I'm doing that is, if anybody wants to follow this project, uh, they can see that it can be done without any complicated tools. As I say I could have taken those teeth off using the uh, electric drill and either a, a little grindstone or a file and it would be perfectly adequate. I only use the lathe because I've got it. I've uh, got a dividing head in the box here but I'm not even going to use it. Instead I'm going to use this protractor which is uh, just a, a, a you know every schoolboy toy or at least it was when I went to school. <laughs> Maybe it's an antique now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use this. So what I'll do on a, a piece of cardboard is I'll mark off a centre and then with the protractor on that centre I shall pick off uh, the degrees. So we've got um, 360 uh, degrees on the whole thing. Uh, we want 30 teeth. Uh, so that's uh, 12 uh, degrees per tuff. So uh, we'll start on the um, uh, zero, then we'll go to 12, uh, 24, 36, where's 36, 36, uh, 48, etc. And go around and um, uh, I'll get it on a bit further and uh, then I'll start video, videoing again. It takes me longer to make the videos than it does to uh, do the actual job. I, I could have carved it out of stone the length of time it takes me to make the video. Now I've got my uh, 30 equal divisions marked off on this piece of cardboard. Uh, you can see I've got those uh, inner rings uh, there and that's to uh, line up around the periphery of the wheel. So uh, now on a, uh, a piece of wood with a hole in it I'll hold the gear down and I'll mark it off but I, I need to do that under, uh, uh, under a, a little uh, magnifying glass as uh, uh, my eyesight's uh, not that good but uh, hopefully you can see the idea so I'll use this for marking it off it's not perfect and that's because as I've uh, drawn the line on and sort of working left or right against the rule um, but it really doesn't matter that is perfectly adequate for what I'm setting out to achieve So remember, looking at the gear from the uh, long side of the arbor, I hope I'm getting that in the camera, uh, 
there the tooth needs to be that shape but now because I'm looking at it from uh, the other side so the long part of the arbor is at the back uh, now the tooth uh, needs to angle that way so each successive tooth needs to look like that so a mirror image to what I had there Okay, that's the uh, finished article. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. Um, not the most beautiful gear I've ever done, but uh, as you've seen, that's cut by hand, and uh, that should be perfectly adequate. Um, all uh, all we need to do is arrange for the uh, pendulum to uh, push uh, or pull that every two seconds, and that's got. Uh, 30 little teeth. Right, I've got the little wheel uh, back in place and we can see it wants to go that direction. But uh, so what I need now is uh, uh, a little device, uh, something like that, that uh, hooks on the pendulum and then uh, uh, that'll swing backwards and forwards and every two seconds it'll just go and get a, uh, another tough and um, send the uh, uh, the hand around. I'm trying to look in the back of the camera and uh, it's very difficult. So it'll do that. So I only need a, a small move. Gosh, I wish I could see what I was doing. Uh, I only need uh, a small amount of movement. There's all sorts of ways I can achieve that from the pendulum. And uh, and that'll be taken from somewhere high up on the pendulum there. That's the theory anyway guys. <laughs>